Hello guys and welcome to um, my first tutorial video on this channel. So in this video I'm going to teach you how to um, install maps in classic and in the versions of Minecraft I think. Early in the versions also. Um, I, I think this also applies to early in the versions. So. Um, first of all, to save and load worlds, uh, for some people it might work if they just start Minecraft Classic, but for me, I have to use Retro Wrapper. So, I have to go to this site, github.com slash kcxx, and you go to Retro Wrapper, and yeah, uh, I'm gonna leave this link in the description. So what you do now is, well, here it says what it does. It uh, fixes loading and saving. <coughs> and uh, yeah, <coughs> so basically here we go to uh, releases, just seven releases, but we go to releases there. <coughs> and then we check out the latest one, which is 13 of April 2018, so K uh, KCXX has basically stopped working on this, I think. But yeah, they, this version is the latest one. So go here and click <coughs> on Retro Wrapper Installer, and it will download. And you uh, click Keep, but I already have it, so, so I, I'm just gonna remove that one because I I, I already have it. So yeah, you keep you click keep and it only gives you that warning because it's a jar file. Otherwise, it wouldn't give you that warning. Um, <coughs> I should check, check some recording. Yeah, no. Yeah, I am recording, right? Yeah, there we go. Okay. So now here I have this folder called sat maps, and this is just the maps that I have downloaded. Doesn't matter what maps you have, I just have sat maps. And now, these maps are in versions 0.0.23a-01 and 0.30. So now, <coughs> what you do is uh, you go to these uh, to those versions. You can, of course, uh, um, like if you don't have the versions, just search it up, and there, there it is. You go to the official Minecraft wiki, go to the version, uh, download it. Click client. Actually, I, I can show you how to download it. So you, you click client, <coughs> and you keep, and then uh, you click JSON. I just clicked uh, to open it in a new window. You don't have to if you don't want to. Uh, and then you go to the Minecraft folder, and to do that, if you don't already know, go to uh, percent app data percent, and the percentage is just because um, it is uh, an invisible folder, and the percent means that it is invisible. Anyways, <coughs> you go there, and you either you come here or you go directly into roaming then it was in the roaming folder you have dot minecraft now i have my Minecraft folder here so if, if you want to you can just drag it folder over there to save it in your uh, favorites or whatever that's called anyways in your Minecraft folder you have versions here you just create a new folder with the same name as that except for the jar at the end so you just name the folder c 0.0.23a-01 I already have it, so yeah, you go into here, now you go to downloads, and you drag and drop that into there. Now I already have it, so I don't need to. And then you create a new text doc document and rename it to C0.0.23a-01. 
slash o one JSON if it's this version. So, so you just name it to the name of the folder and then dot JSON and uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna show you. So create a new text document. So then c 0.0.23a slash o one dot JSON just like that. And now you get get this warning that it might make the uh, file corrupt or something, but just click yes because you have just created the file, so there's really no nothing to worry about. It's just an empty file. <clears throat> so now take this JSON text, select select all, copy, <clears throat> and then paste it into here, and you save and you exit out of it. Just like that, <clears throat> and and now uh, once you have that, um, <clears throat> what you do is yeah, I just remove that to show you how retro wrapper works. <clears throat> so now what you do is you click on retro wrapper installer which you have installed, <clears throat> or download it, and then you click here, choose the version you want to uh, wrap. For some reason, the game just crashes if you wrap uh, 0.24 survival test. So, yeah. <clears throat> and anyways, uh, what you do is you go here to, and then click on C 0.0.23A-01. Well, that's in my case because I have this version. <clears throat> so yeah, again, it's different. Well, it's not really different for different ver versions, but yeah, I, I just say my version. Uh, you can do whatever version you want. Just make sure it's the right version because otherwise the game will just crash when you open the the map. Anyways, now you click install and it wrapped the version. Now it will close out. And now if you go into your versions folder, you don't have to do this. You can see that there's a new version there. So <clears throat> what what you want to do now? Let's go to your Minecraft launcher and installations, <coughs> and then uh, you create a new one. You can call it whatever you want. I call mine classic, and then right, wait. <coughs> you have to uh, click here historic versions because otherwise it won't work. Check that, and then. You can uh, create it. I call mine classic. And you scroll down to 0.0.23a-01 wrapped. And you click that. And you click create. Um, <clears throat> now we have that. <clears throat> so now we can start it. And we can see that it works. We get this folder right here. No, what's on this? this folder? <laughs> we get this uh, window over here, and yeah, it works. So, <clears throat> anyways, um, now <clears throat> you can exit out, and it takes a while to exit in these old versions. There we go. Okay, <clears throat> so now uh, you go here to your Minecraft folder, found find the retro wrapper folder go into there go to maps if you don't already have a ma maps folder it will create when uh, you start a new world uh, or save the world so yeah I'm, I'm gonna show you how to do it. so basically uh, I'm just gonna move that over there All right, wait I'm gonna just name it maps one instead. There we go. <clears throat> so now, when you now start the game, we can see here that in the retro wrapper folder you get the maps folder. And that maps sh uh, folder should be um, uh, should be empty if you have just started it. Anyways, um, <clears throat> now you go here to save level and you don't have to do this but this is just the easy way of doing it so then you save the level here you can name it 
whatever you want. Since my <coughs> world that I'm going to paste here is called Atoll 2, I'm gonna name mine Atoll 2. You, you don't have to name it after your world, but that's just easier to keep track of. So now, as you can see, you can load level Atoll 2. This is the same level every time. Yeah. And then, <coughs> what you do now is you go to Maps, and you see here, that is, that is it has created map 0.mc level map 0.txt if you go into the txt folder why am i saying folder it's a file but you can see here that it says atl2 uh, and here the mc level uh, is just well if you open it uh, it will just uh, with the text editor it will just show the uh, hexadecimal numbers so that's no real use. Anyways, what you do is you remove this and then you go to the map you want, which in my case is Atoll 2, and you copy it into the maps folder. And now, either it will already be an MC level file or it will be a DAT file, depending on if it was made in single player or multiplayer. Mine, mine was made in multiplayer, so it's a dot .dat file. Anyways, you rename it map0, and if it's an MC level file, just keep the MC level. If it's a DAT file, just rename it to MC level, and then hit enter. Again, it says that you might don't want to change the file type, but yes, you do want to change the file type, so you click yes. And then, now when you're in game, I'm just gonna see, so I'm still recording. Uh, yeah, I. Um, okay. <coughs> Anyways, <coughs> when you're in the game, you click load level, <coughs> and as you can see here, we have Atoll 2, and if you load it, it will now load the world that you put in there, which in my case is Atoll 2. <coughs> uh, and, uh, <coughs> yeah, uh, you can do this with any map. Just make sure it's the corrected version, because otherwise it will crash. For example, <coughs> if I try to do it with Crystal, which is a 0 0.30 map. Uh, uh, let's see, map 1.mc level. <coughs> yes. Now that we have to create map map1.txt see crystal there we go and now if you try to load that it will crash because it is the wrong version so as you can see it just crashed and okay <coughs> so uh, yeah uh, that's basically it now you can do this for any map so I'm gonna do another map. Uh, so, yeah, you just keep adding numbers. So, map2.txt. Now, this is the Mars map. <coughs> so, I'm gonna name it Mars. And <coughs> then you copy this and map2.mc level. And now, <coughs> if you start the game. And <coughs> go here, load level, and then click Mars. We'll now load the Mars level. Uh, so, yeah, that's basically how you load maps in old versions. And also, <coughs> as you can see, as you can hear, you have sounds in old versions as well with uh, Retro Wrapper. Now, <coughs> the sounds are a bit wrong before the sound bug fix version which was alpha something so uh, yeah so sadly that's just how it is uh, you might be able to fix it by using multi mc or something but <coughs> anyways uh, that was basically it for uh, loading the worlds <coughs> if still crashes make sure you have the right version it might say on the download or, or you'll just have to test different versions and see which one works. Um, 
and yet the reason it doesn't work is because some block types don't work and uh, well don't exist and stuff like that um so yeah if, if you found this help helpful then hit, hit the like button in the, and um if you want to see more of these tutorial videos then hit hit the subscribe button and i will see all the guys in the next video